Welcome friends, Tim with Perkins Roofing here today on this lovely Good Friday uh, in April. And I wanted to discuss today uh, the difference between concrete and clay tiles because I get asked this all the time and people ask me also, why are clay tiles more expensive than concrete? What's the difference besides the aesthetics? I have a jet flying over me right now, so sorry about that if you hear it. But um, we're gonna talk today about the differences between concrete and clay tiles. There are aesthetic differences. There are price differences. There are maintenance differences. And there are differences in roof life. So we'll get in depth into this in this video. And uh, before we get further into it, thank you for watching our channel and supporting us. Please subscribe to us on Perkins Roofing to learn more about roofing. And uh, hopefully I can help you, even if you're not in our market, uh, get a better roof. Okay, so before we begin here, I wanna set one thing straight. That's a shingle. And these are tiles. All too often I have people ask me, what is the difference between a shingle and a tile? Or they call their shingles tiles and their tile shingles. You can see the difference here. The shingles are much thinner. That's what they look like. They're staggered on top of each other. That's what most people have up north. Down here in South Florida, we get a lot of tile roofs. It's pretty common, more common than in other places in the country, Florida and California. So these are tiles. One thing that is extremely important to know about the difference between shingle tile and metal which if you want to learn more you can watch my video it's very popular probably our most popular video shingle versus tile versus metal roofs i would recommend watching that to learn more about the difference between the three i'm not going to get much into metal into this video but something to note the difference is you can see this is asphaltic on the back isn't it as a faultic product so the shingle is a waterproofing and metal acts as a waterproofing but tiles are not a waterproofing. They are not a water barrier. The tile is, number one, there to protect the water barrier. It is the shield of the water barrier. And number two, tile is an aesthetic. So there's not really much of a difference besides when it comes to whether it's clay or concrete. It's not much of a difference on the profile of the tile and how it's gonna affect the longevity of the roof. You can see right here some roofing rolls that we have in our yard. This right here is Polyglass TU Plus. This is asphaltic. This is the water barrier under your tile. We only use Polyglass products under the tiles. This is Polyglass TU Plus. It is the best tile underlayment on the market. We also have MTS right here, which is a secondary water barrier for tiles. Watch more. If you want to learn more about secondary water barriers, I have a video of that on YouTube. Watch my secondary water barrier video. You can get discounts that help pay for the water barrier, so you don't really pay for it. Uh, discounts and credits. Um, but the T-plus is the water barrier for a tile roof. The underlayment, not the tiles. So it's very important when you're getting your roof from your roofer to make sure what kind of underlayment are gonna put they're gonna put on under your roof because a lot of them will use some crappy synthetic or they're you they'll use something that is less millage T plus is 80 mils thickness of asphaltic and they're layering here there are cheaper products that are only 60 mils or it will tear very easily you can see this is pretty strong and this is a fiber so that our foam when we install the tiles can grab to this but I can't just rip this with my hand. It's hard for, for you to see when the phone. But the point is, when it comes to the underlayment, make sure that your roofer is using something like Polyglass TU Plus, or even maybe like a Flint Elastic cap sheet or something like that under the tiles, and is not using a cheap product. Find out what the underlayment under the tile is because that is the water barrier, not the tiles. There are other types of tiles besides concrete and clay. And maybe if you have a sharp eye, you can spot the difference as I'm walking through my tile boneyard here, the difference between the clay tiles and the concrete tiles. 
but there is a difference between concrete and or other tiles besides concrete and clay tiles. There are also plastic tiles out there. There are metal tiles and there are ceramic tiles. So there are other options, but down here in South Florida, you're usually looking at concrete or clay. And honestly, I do not recommend the plastic tiles. They crack and they break. And then when water gets in, it's going to explode, expose your underlayment, which I just showed you, which is the waterproofing, not the tile. So tiles have all kinds of different profiles on them. This right here is a double roll tile. Double roll because you can see it goes up and down twice. This right here is an S tile. These are all concrete, by the way. You can see they call it an S tile because it's shaped like an S. And this right here is a flat tile. Flat. Generally with concrete tiles, they're all running around the same price as long as they're the same size. You can see all these are more or less the same size. They're 13 inches wide and 18 inches long. Now clay tiles can come in all kinds of weird profiles just depending on who you're ordering from. Like this is a Ludoisi special made tile. Look how small it is. More or less, something to, mo to note, because you can see this one's about the same, is that the flatter tiles usually in clay will come in nine inches. They won't make 13 inch flat tiles like the concrete. That means more pieces per square foot. So that means more cost and in install and also more foam. And then the last profile I wanted to go over is the barrel tile profile where you have a pan and a cap. So basically these sit into each other. You have one cap that's upside down and then one pan that sits on the cap and that's how you make your barrel tile if you want to look at my tile install videos i have we have some of us installing the barrel tile so you can get an idea of how it's laid down the other type of tile which i failed to mention is slate which this isn't slate this is a clay tile by little see that's made to look like slate but we don't get much slate down here that's more up north but slate will look somewhat like that, and slate lasts quite a long time. But it does chip on the corners, which is one of the other little problems of maintenance of these concrete tiles you see right here. Over time, they'll start to chip on the corners, and you see that all the time when you're a roofer. There's little chips on the little corners, especially the flat ones, they get little chips on the corners. And then even like here, or they'll get cracked, and you have to repair them with RT600. So one of the big benefits of clay tile over concrete tile is the moisture absorption. I'm gonna put over my face right now so you can see uh, what we're looking at, but there are different grades of clay tile. Concrete tile does, do, does not have different grades, uh, at least that I know about, but uh, grade one is the best type of clay tile that is less than 6% moisture. And you can see it shows the percentages on this chart here. That's the percentage of moisture that permeates through or penetrates through the tile itself. So grade one is less than 6%. Uh, we use our standard clay tile is grade one Varea clay tile. And sometimes we'll try to upsell Ludoisi tiles, which are less than one and 2%, I believe, in their moisture intake. Grade two is six to 11%. And grade three is more than 11% moisture, which can be sometimes like a handmade tile because they're not factory made. They're not glazed over. Um, the glazed tiles that you see generally have better, are better at preventing water intrusion, which I'll show you, um, or which we'll, we'll do a little science experiment in a second here, where I'll put water on some of the tiles and you can see how fast that absorbs or if it absorbs or if it just whisks right off of it. Um, but grade one is the best, grade two is medium, grade three is the worst of the clay tiles and you see here, grade three is worse, is a lot more than 11%, but the standard concrete tile uh, moisture absorption rate is 18%. So you have to keep that in mind that concrete tiles are much worse at moisture absorption than even the worst of the clay tiles. So we're gonna do a little science experiment here behind me so I can show you how different absorptions work on the different types of tiles. So right here, 
I have a glazed Ludoisi tile, which is grade one, but this is also glazed. You see the water just runs right off of it. It doesn't soak in at all. It just whisks right off. The glazed tiles are the best with moisture absorption and especially Ludoisi. I mean, like these are like probably 1% moisture absorption, if even. The rest just runs right off, you see that? Right here is a grade one Varea tile. So this is also grade one, but it's not glazed. So it's not gonna have the same moisture absorption. You can see it doesn't just run right off. It does kind of stick and soak in a little bit, but more or less. It's beading. You can see how it beads up and then it runs off. But obviously I don't have like four on 12 slope like I normally would. I have to kind of like lift it up like that. But you can see a little is absorbing, but it, it does beat up and it runs off. You see that? Here's a brass tile. So this one is also glazed. You see it beads up just like the other glazed one. And it runs off. This is in Ludoisi, so it will leave some residue on there. But the clay tiles do a good job of water beating and running off. It's not soaking in. And remember, this is your shield of your roof. So you want your tiles to, to let the water run off of them and not absorb through them because when the water absorbs through the tile, it's going to degrade the underlayment quickly, which is why clay tile usually lasts longer than concrete tile. Clay tile on average will last about 25 to 30 years. That's an average, the whole roofing system I'm talking about, not just the tile. And the concrete tile will last about 20 years. So let's see once I put some water on these concrete tiles here, how this performs. It's all soaking pretty much straight in. Done. It did not beat at all. Obviously it is running off some because there's so much water, but it didn't beat up like it did on the other tiles where you can still see even on the clay, it's still beaded on the top right here. So it's still beaded up. This is soaking straight through, you see that? It's like raining on a sidewalk, it's soaking straight in. And when this soaks in, it's gonna soak through all the way when it rains hard. You can see it even, all I do is put a little water on it. You can see, see the water soaking through? I sprinkle a little water from a water bottle on there. That's not gonna mimic a rain. But you can see the water coming through the backside already. There's no water coming through on this. Or on that. So this is why clay tiles are superior to concrete tiles. You see all the water absorbing? You see that? It's not, this is a flat tile. It's not beating up. It is gonna run off because like I said, it's more like 18% moisture. So look, let me dump this. It's not beating at all. See, it's still beaded on these. That's why the clay tiles last longer than the concrete tiles. Look how wet that is. Because when the paper, when the, the water permeates through those concrete tiles, when you get a good rain, it's gonna touch the paper and that paper is gonna start degrading. Whereas the clay tiles are gonna protect the paper, which is the underlayment. That's what keeps your roof dried in. That's so it stops water from coming in your roof. Not the tiles, it's the paper. So the tiles need to be the shield and protect the paper. We're gonna do a little science experiment here again, another one after we just did our moisture experiment. And we're gonna test some breakage on these tiles, right? Generally the concrete tiles have a better breakage rate, but some of the clay tiles that are like Ludoisi, which are like super kilned, like those won't break at all. 
So let's do a little science experiment here and see the breakage on these tiles. I have a concrete S tile right here. That didn't last very long. I've got a clay barrel tile. I should probably put this more on level ground like right here. Supports my weight when I stand on it. It's pretty good. It's stopping pretty hard right now. Took a while for that one. That was the first stomp. I had to dance on this one to get it to break. Here's a Ludoisi clay. I'm on uneven ground right now too. On uneven ground. I'm jumping on that and it won't even break. Look at this. See if I can set this camera up. That's crazy. Look at that. Perfectly fine. Ludoisi clay. See, now we got a couple of concrete tiles here. Flat tile even broke. One, one stomp, just like that. So much for the concrete, the heavier concrete tiles being better with double roll tile. This is pretty big. Let's see it's old too, but look at that. Cracked right in half. I use the same pressure. I mean, I was jumping on these ones even. So really, I put more pressure on these clay ones to get that one to break. And then that green one there, that one, that Ludoisi, I can't get that thing to break. These clay ones, this is a weird shape. So I could probably get this one to break if I like kick in the corner. But I really like this one as a sample. It has a pretty color, so I don't want to break the floor. <laughs> and then, let's see, we got the brass tile here. That broke really easy right on the corner. You see that a lot on roofs, actually. The first place for these tiles to break, clay or concrete, will just get little chips on the corner. It happens all the time. But that won't affect really the paper because you'll have another tile under there. So if I see that like that on the roof, I, I think it's fine. When we get the problems of tiles like this is when you get a big crack where it's completely busted in and the paper's exposed because you need to protect the paper. Still not bad. I mean, it won't break in the middle. It's just chipping off the side. There it goes. I stopped that one pretty hard. That's the brass tile. I'd say these grade one, the Vreas, are stronger than the brass tiles. And then that Ludoisi, man, that's crazy. You see now it's even raining on the tile and look how the rain glaze, it beads up on these glazed tiles. It's gonna soak straight into these concrete tiles. You see how it's just soaked straight in? And then these clay tiles, look at that. The water just beads right up on the clay tile. Again, I'll put a little chart over my face here so you can see what I'm talking about. But concrete tile has a lot more maintenance as far as algae growth and uh, color maintenance. The color on the concrete tiles fades much faster than on the clay tiles. Many of the clay tiles actually come with a warranty on how many years the color will be maintained on the tiles. And most of the time there's much, much, much less pressure cleaning and algae growth, especially at the glazed tile. The glazed tiles come with those warranties that I was talking about on holding the color. And then they also come on out with algae warranties uh, because that glazing protects the tile from algae growth. So this nasty stuff you see uh, right now on the concrete tile, the little uh, plants growing out of the tiles and the black mold that you get and the discoloration, the dirt that gets on it. And then you see people here pressure cleaning the tiles all the time, like especially uh, municipalities like Miami Shores and Coral Gables where we work, they make you pressure clean your roof every couple of years. Uh, it's like $1,500 sometimes. So you're paying more money out of pocket to maintenance uh, the roof as you own it. Whereas clay tile, you maybe only have to pressure clean every 10 years or so. And even then, most of the time, you do not need to put chemicals in the spray. A lot of people like to put chemicals in it, but that's not really necessary. And one thing to note here is you see the guy coating the tiles. 
never do that. I have a video on this on YouTube saying never coat concrete tile or clay tile or shingle roofs. If you wanna learn more about why not, watch that video, but never coat tiles. So something everyone likes to talk about and something that's very important we're considering these tiles is the price, right? A lot of what goes into it is the price. You might say, okay, Tim, uh, looks like the clay tiles are stronger. There's less moisture coming in, so the clay tiles are better, but how much more are they? Sorry. Got an Air Force base over here. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait for that plane to go by. But basically, the clay tiles are about $2 per foot more than the concrete tiles. So you're looking at maybe an extra 15% on the project, but your roof is gonna last 10 plus years longer. We'll get into the warranties in a second, but um, that's what you're getting with the clay tile. It costs a little more. Now the Ludoises, depending on the profile, they're gonna be more than that. But the Vareas, which are grade one clay, and you saw how much it took to break one of those, that is $2 per square or a square foot more than uh, concrete tile, more or less, um, depending on the color. And when it, also when it comes to the pricing, something to keep in mind is that the concrete tiles, no matter the shape, whether it's the double roll, the S tile, or the flat tile, they're all pretty much the same price and all the standard colors are gonna come in at the same price. The clay tiles, when you change the color or do the glazing, it's gonna cost more. The glazed tiles cost a little more. Some of the specialized colors cost a little more because they have to fi fire them up. They're kiln fired. And I'll show you in a second here, one of the cool things that you can do with clay is that you can get a nice blend and the blend looks much better than the concrete. So I'll show you a concrete blend right now and then I'll show you a clay blend. Here's an example of a concrete blend. You can see it's basically just painted. All they do is just run it through a spray painter. So you can see, okay, this is obviously like painted. It doesn't look the best. This is the Varea clay blend. This is the Floridian blend. And you can see how much better the color transitions on these look. It looks much more natural. So basically the concrete tiles are gonna have more standard colors to choose from at that standard price that we give you. But if you have the money and you want the best roof, you're gonna wanna go with clay. And then depending on aesthetics, what color do you like? What, look, what will look best with your home, the way that your home is? That's how you're gonna choose your color and your profile. Um, I like the S profile better than the double roll myself. And a lot of people like the flat tiles right now for a uh, concrete tile because it's a more modern look, but you saw they broke almost as easily as the uh, S tiles. Um, but from bang for your buck, you're gonna get better out of your clay. Uh, tile roof warranty for either option is a, a lot of it's gonna depend on the underlayment. So if you use that TU Plus with the MTS that I showed you, you can get a 30 year warranty on your tile roof on the underlayment. Now, your clay tile comes with a 50 year warranty and your concrete tile comes with a 25 year warranty. But that's not how long your roof is gonna last because the tiles are not the waterproofing barrier. The tiles are only the shield. Now, if you maintain your roof, just like if you maintain your car, if you bring it in for your car, if you have a car, you don't just run it 100,000 miles without an oil change, without rotating the tires, all that stuff. The same thing goes with the roof. If you take care of your roof, if you have broken tiles, change out your tiles. If coconuts fall on your roof, happens down here, we've got palm trees and uh, breaks tile, you need to change the tile. You need to take care of your roof and maintain the roof if you want the roof to last the longer amount of time. But as far as warranties, the Ludoisi tiles come with a 75 year warranty. The Varea uh, clay tiles come with a 50 year warranty. And then most concrete tiles, Eagle, Crown, whatever, all come with a 25 year warranty. There are no lifetime warranties with tiles. Either the Ludoisis, I've taken, like these green ones, I've taken Ludoisi tiles off and seen the date is from like 1914. So they can be reused. The thing is down here in South Florida, we have to use foam to install our tiles, right? And so it's hard to clean up the back of the tile, the foam that gets on there. I think I have a sample one over here, but it's hard to clean that foam off the tiles to get it to be reused again because then you have to put the foam patty all over again. You can't just put uh, the foam patty on top of an old foam patty. You can't just put foam on top of foam. Like you can see here, here's some of the foam. So you gotta scrape this off. It doesn't just come off with your hands. You have to use like a flat bar, you see that? To get that to come off if you wanna reuse the tile. So the tile warranty is good, but it won't matter as much. It's more 
What underlayment are you gonna put under the tiles? That's what really what's gonna depend on the roof life. And uh, what workmanship warranty are you getting from your installer? Because if your installer is gonna use galvanized metals and galvanized screws and you're on the water, guess what? You're gonna have flashings leaking way before there's an, ever any problem with the underlayments or with the tiles. So it's very important, depending on where you're located, find out what underlayments your contractor is gonna use. Find out, are they using stainless steel screws? Are they using stainless steel nails? Are you using aluminum or, or, uh, or stainless steel or copper flashings rather than galvanized? All that's gonna make a difference on the roof life. Let me wrap this video up because it's starting to rain on me now. And uh, I just wanted to close the video out by just saying like a lot of it is gonna depend on how much money do you wanna spend? How important is it for your roof to last a long time? Are you gonna be selling the house in a few years or are you gonna live there for the next 30 years? So that's gonna depend on what you wanna do with the roof. Or are you gonna keep the home and rent it out? If you're gonna own the home, then you want the better roof on it. Um, and then third, aesthetics. Uh, because honestly, best bang for your buck is gonna be short term, a shingle roof, long term, a metal roof. But if you really love tile or you live in a place where you have to do tile, like an HOA or Miami Shores or Coral Gables, you have a historic home and you have to put tile, then like a lot of that is gonna come down to aesthetics. What do you like? What's the look that you like? But um, just so you can see, this video will show you the difference between clay and concrete so you know what you're buying. And I recommend anyone who's looking into a tile roof watch this video, whether it's through Perkins Roofing, whether it's in South Florida, California, I don't care. Watch this video, uh, share it out. Um, we have other videos, like I said, watch shingle versus metal versus tile, watch uh, secondary water barrier. And if you have flat roofs, watch my flat roof videos. But we have videos on our channel, check out our channel, watch our videos. Please follow us along, subscribe to the channel, like us, and uh, shout us out. I really appreciate the love. Uh, thank you very much. And hopefully these price increases end shortly so we can stabilize our pricing and get some work done. Thank you very much for watching. Tim Kanak, Perkins Roofing. Uh, give us a call, 305-687-6521 or 305-MIA Roof to solve any of your roofing needs. And check us out on perkinsroofing.net. Check us out on Google. You can see we have uh, hundred, hundreds of your reviews, mostly five-star. Uh, try to keep everybody happy. Thanks.